Hey there, it's Cassie. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. We are back with week number 13 of my Encouraging Card series, and this week I am showing off an Art Impressions stamp set called Cat Stackers. I showed this one in a haul video a while back, uh, Joanne's haul, and so I'm finally getting a chance to use it. So I'm pulling out my Mini Misty, and I am going to be sticking this inside there with uh, some cream cardstock by Nina. And at this point I'm realizing, whoops, this is a rubber stamp, so you got to take that padding out. I always forget that when I'm using my rubber stamps as compared to my um, clear stamps. So go ahead and pull that pad out of there, and then now I can stamp my image. And so I'm going to go back to old school. I'm going to use some Memento Tuxedo Black ink. This is what I used in the very beginning years ago when I first started Copic Coloring, and it works beautifully. I love it. Um, it doesn't necessarily mean it's worse or any better than the Lawn Fawn Jet Black ink that I've been using recently. I will say that the one thing I do like about the Memento is that it dries very quickly. So uh, with the Lawn Fawn, I do have to heat set that. So back to that, I stamped that out a couple times, and now I'm starting with my coloring. And of course, as I have said before, I always have to, to color some Siamese cats, simply because I have a Siamese. We tend to, to color what it is we might have, right? <laughs> and I love my Siamese, so uh, I'm gonna color a few of those Siamese, and I am going to apologize ahead of time. I didn't get all of the coloring in, because I got a phone call from my son, and so I stopped the video, took the phone call, and then when I came back, I forgot to hit the record button. So I do miss part of the coloring. But I will have all of the colors listed down below. So for my uh, Siamese, I'm using the colors E42 and E44. And I'm just going back and forth. Like I said, I think I have about three. I may end up having about four of them that are Siamese, or at least Siamese in color. But uh, then I move on to a calico, and I'm using the colors E08 and E47 for this. I think I'd bring in two calico, maybe not. Um, and I honestly, I don't know 100% what calico looks like, a calico cat looks like, but um, my, my dad has one, and so I was trying to go off of that a little bit. And then for this next one, I'm using YR12 and YR18 for a little, little uh, orange cat. A couple of those, just giving it some stripes. And then I will eventually move on and use the colors T5 and T7, which is a very dark color, basically like a black cat. And the neat thing about the art impressions is that on their packaging, you can use that as a guide for your uh, shadowing if you'd like. It works out really well. So I'm now I'm adding carpet, and I'm just using the colors C3 and C1 for that, making sure to get a good shadow in there. And then I'm going to go ahead and fussy cut that out. I don't mind fussy cutting. It's kind of therapeutic for me. And when I am fussy cutting, I tend to leave my scissors mostly where they are and move the paper around the scissors. So I'm just using some little cutter bee scissors. You can get these, I think I even got these at Target, but you can get these online. Different um, craft companies have them, pretty easy to find. They have some yellow ones and then these are the pink ones and they're really not any different. So I'll just continue fussy cutting around those little images. And I will say it was wonderful to talk to my son. I am sorry I missed some of the coloring, but it was oh, it's always good to sit and get a chat with him. Uh, so I think I wasn't 100% focused when I came back because I was thinking about him. We're actually going to go visit him this weekend, and I'm super, super excited about that. So, um, well, actually, we'll, by the time this video goes up, we'll have already come back from visiting him. And so, yeah, clearly my mind is on other things. <laughs> Um, but back to the card, I'll just fin finish fussy cutting, and then I have some blue from my stash set off to the side there, but first, and once again, I forget I gotta take that padding out, I'm going to stamp the sentiment. And I'm just gonna stamp that on that scrap of the Nina Cream cardstock that I have, and I'm gonna use that same Memento Tuxedo Black ink, and stamp that out a couple times just to make sure I get a good impression. A mountain of fun on your perfect day. <laughs> I am also using the Tailored Expressions Dotted Lattice Embossing Folder. So I ran that through my Big Shot machine 
off camera. And I'm using another piece of cream, Nina cardstock, and that is a top folding A2 size card that I have scored at five and a half inches. So that is a five and a half by four and a quarter once folded. And then I'll start to assemble that. I'm trying to make that look like maybe wallpaper in the background. And so I'm going to use my tape runner because this, this uh, paper isn't super heavy. And I'm just using a Tombow tape runner. And I will adhere that down. And then I will grab some foam tape for my cats and the carpeting. And I'll peel off all the backing on my foam tape. And then I will adhere that where you saw it. And then I will use some Tombow Mono Multi to adhere the sentiment down. And once I'm done with that, that'll finish off the card. It's a super easy, fast card. Uh, but y'all had asked to see that cat stackers, and I'm sure I'll use it again. But anyway, if you liked this video, go ahead and hit that like button. And head back to my channel so you can check out some of the other encouraging cards in the series. Like I said, this is number 13. So uh, as always, guys, thanks for stopping by.